friends, it's Nancy and I am back. We're definitely going to do another um, big book of ideas, uh, but I thought I would do a little, little thrift haul before we get crafting so I can clear off this desk. Um, so uh, yesterday I did a little thrifting. Um, we went to we went out yesterday to look for a new microwave our microwave which doesn't owe us anything we've had it for a gazillion years decided to start smoking and making weird noises <laughs> time to replace it uh so yesterday was yellow tag day at the the mcc thrift shop so I got a couple of yellow tag things. So this was a quarter, and it's a piece of cotton fabric. This is this cross stitching is not done by hand. This it looks like it's done by hand, but it's not. This is an uh, an embroidery machine that did this. But I thought, wouldn't that be cute? Cut out and put on the front of a journal. It has little pink flowers, little purple flowers in there. So for a quarter even if I never use it. Um, I got these little stamps. Uh, I can't remember what I paid for these. There's one missing, but um, I liked the butterfly and the dragonfly. Mm, ladybug, not so much. Maybe I'll give that to Brooklyn. Um, it was cheap. I can't remember. <laughs> this pack, little package of trims was a dollar. Uh, that Rick Rick is Navy. I've got plenty of that. Um, mm, but it was these two trims that were in there. Uh, there's about two yards of this one. This one looks like it was actually on a finished article, but the threads were all clipped and it was removed. But I like the pretty blue, pretty blue flowers. So those will get, oh, well, that one will get pressed and uh, wrapped on some a bobbin. These are tinsel, tinsel tassels. It says there's six of them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, this, I think, was marked a dollar twenty-five. So whatever that whatever that is, dollar thirty thirty two cents maybe thirty one cents. I paid for these, and I thought they might be useful in uh, some Christmas journals maybe. So I will put them away with my Christmas stuff. Packaging's kind of fun though, isn't it? It's just plain paper. Um, and this, uh, this I paid a dollar for. So these are old. I'm gonna have to, I didn't realize they had put tape on here. I'm going to have to see what I can do to get that tape off. Maybe heat it, heat it up with a, well maybe in this case I might leave the tape on. Don't know. Anyway, it says here, pen makers to the late George V, which is uh, the current king's great-grandfather. So 
I'm guessing this sort of uh, probably 30s, maybe, maybe 40s. Um, I think George V died in 36. Oh, I don't know. All of a sudden, I don't know. This one, I'll probably see if I can get the uh, tape off, but I thought these were, the, what, what a great piece of ephemera. I kind of like this one that has the nibs attached. This one I would just take all the nibs off and remove the thread and use it, you just use the paper. I think that's a great uh, piece of ephemera for 50 cents a piece. All right, let's clear off the desk and let's get some crafty stuff going on here. Okay, I'm back. So I was intrigued by this idea uh, from an Instagram post I saw that my friend Valerie from um, my little main cottage studio had on Instagram the other day. She showed that her business cards are decorated with scraps of itty bitty scraps of fabric and little paper dolls. Um, I have a couple of teeny tiny Tim Hort Tim Horton Tim Holtz <laughs> slip of the tongue Tim Holtz dolls but I also have some that I cut out myself I I keep a box of ones that I find in uh, largely National Ge old National Geographics um, generally have some cute ones so I have a few business cards that I would like to alter into something else um, and I also got these cards on the weekend, um, feeling a little slightly ripped off by these. Uh, you may have noticed there's a whole bunch of, uh, cart de visite in my Etsy shop. So I met with a man and I said, I'd like to buy all of your carts to de visite. Um, and he said, Oh, well, let's count them. So I counted out half, he counted out half, and we added them up. Except I only kept the ones that were actually like people. He gave me a whole stack of these ones, which were drawings and it's a photograph of a town castles, that sort of thing. So I ended up paying CDV prices for all of these. Not happy. Well, let's see if we can make something out of this one. So I will um, share the link to that particular video, or um, Instagram post it below. She also has a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop. So I've uh, had a little boy that looked like this little boy. He's holding a chicken or a turkey. He might be too big. But here's a little girl. She got her, her bonnet on. So um, So I've got some coordinating colors here. I'm just going to sort of frame out around the edge here. If I can indeed pick up a piece of fabric without... Oh, I just hear a bunch of ducks, or not ducks, geese going overhead. We live very close to uh, a park that has like a a little creek and a little 
pond and that sort of thing. So we get a lot of water birds in the neighborhood. Um, and other critters. <clears throat> I uh, was walking home the other day. There's also walking trails near our house that, that are a quick connector to local stores and uh, I was going over to <clears throat> the pharmacy to do a little shopping and I came home by way of the walking path and uh, there was an enormous heron. And I captured his picture. I'll have to put that on my Instagram so you can see the giant heron. And he just, he wasn't going anywhere. I was in his space. <laughs> The reason these all match is because they came from the same quilting project. So they're just little bits and pieces left over. Oh, uh, and for those who ask, yes, I am going to be listing some of that lace that I scored on the weekend in my Etsy shop. Um, it's just taking me a bit to get things organized because, you know, working for a living and all that other nonsense. Oof, hopefully that'll dry clear. Let's link up, link up, ink up our little girl.
not sure how I feel about it. Valerie, yours turned out so much nicer than mine. <laughs> uh, eh. Now, in fairness, Valerie also used multicolors, not coordinating colors like I have. Um, let's grab some different colors. I have this business card. Um, I want to cover the back with something. Uh, that is sorry while I fuss around looking for paper oh here's something I think will work I recently <clears throat> went through all of my scrap boxes. And organized them into different types of paper. I was just looking for my sanding sponge here. I'm just going to take off a little bit of this shine. Give it a little bit of a vintagey look. This time I'll use some brighter fabrics and I'll go all the way around in a frame.
I think we can cut this out. sand the edge a bit because I'm going to distress the edge with a little bit of ink. There's a little story on the back about Loch Lee. It's a farm. Well, there you go. I'm going to put that a little higher.
Okay, now I have a little person maybe? You two girls. They're a little too big. I'm going to have to go with the little man. I'm going to use some three and one to stick them down. I'm going to grab some more fabric. Okay. That's why I got this little piece out. I was watching somebody the other day who had made uh, fabric scraps into a, a snippet roll, but it just glued them onto um, drywall tape and then did a couple of rows of stitching. I don't remember who that was. I thought, hey, that might use up some of these scraps that I call uh, organized. <laughs> This one I'm not going to frame out. But I might add like a daisy. Where's my box? cut these big flowers off.
I was thinking that yellow might pick up some of the yellow in the fabric, little yellow fabric or sour centers of the flowers, but unless I took that off and put these on. Instead, I kind of like that. Uh, I'll put this kind of askew All right, I like him. Just using a little emery board. Take some of that plastic coating off. a word to that too, couldn't I? Instead of a paper doll, let's get a word. Word. This one says, always be kinder than necessary. A little kinder than necessary. scissors. This is from a book. And of course, James M. Barry wrote Peter Pan, right? Ink you up. That's cute. Do like that. One more. This one is just doing patchy patchy work. I might just use two strips of this fabric. We'll see how it looks.
this one's not going to be long enough. I don't know. Maybe I want something darker to frame it out a bit more. Something red. Ooh, this one's black and red. Oh, let's do black and red. just picked these um, business cards up at a, an antique show recently and honestly I picked them up for the pictures and I'm a horrible human being because I mean it costs the vendor money to print these cards and I have no intention of buying any millwork so, okay, I'm good with the bottom one. The top one is giving me grief. Maybe it needs to be narrower. So it's not so heavy. Come on, glue. bitty bit off.
Now, how do I feel about it? Just seeing if there's a little phrase in here. Measure two times, cut once. <laughs> I wish that fit. That would be funny for a beaver. Never put off until tomorrow what can be done today. That's a good one for a beaver. Flakes of sponge flying off. Time to replace the sponge. Boom. Okay. Like you. Let's like take a look at what we have. Got that one with the little boy, the rabbit, the beaver, and this little cutie patootie. Um, let's put one in the book. some of this stuff to find the book. A 
kind of went like where it went. <laughs> But I like that bunny so bad, so so badly. I love it so badly. Hang on. It was just saying good morning to me. I'm going to put this at the top of the page to be a good tuck spot. What's today? The 25th? I think it's the 25th. We'll call these altered business cards. Inspired by Valerie. Oh, it's my little main cottage. Ugh. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you thought this was kind of an interesting project and maybe you'll take a look at uh, business cards in a different way. Um, maybe you already have some tucked away. Take care. Have a great Thursday and we will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.